Morning everyone, rushing for the bus today. And relax. Eee. First bus of the day, 7.35. Nobody loves travel first thing in the morning. I'm a nobody. I don't love travel first thing in the morning. But today is a uni day, I need to get to London. Let's get on this bus. my train leaving. I'm here at City Thameslink. Two minutes away from university now. I'm just going to finish up some reading before I head into class. pret a manger closed. Starbucks closed. When have you ever seen a Starbucks that was closed? When have you ever seen a Starbucks that didn't want to take your money? So I've come to uh, Jamie's Italian to make use of the copious free seating uh, so I can do my last bits of reading uh, before I head into class. Thank you, Jamie's Italian. Right, finished for the time being and I'm now headed in. These my friends are friendly neighbourhood Freemasons who are going to their lodge. You can see they have their oversized briefcase and their very smart suits. The Grand Central Lodge is just around the corner from here. Heading off to uni. Can't film inside so um, I will see you very soon. Back in a moment. Time. I'm on my usual little jolly down to St Paul's to uh, grab me lunch. Fascinating morning this morning, really, really good. Been talking about um, church history and mission and discussing the uh, various sort of like implications or applications to us of what we can see from the past. Great talks, great discussions, really good stuff coming up in the classroom. Going past the Old Bailey, top there. Lovely little landmark. Great part of town, this. It's a really great part to be, uh, to be in, to study. Um, I always use my break times to have a little explore, a little wander. Gotta love getting out and pounding the pavement a little bit. Billy's absolute favourite cheese top roll. I love coming to Paternoster Square because uh, these table tennis tables, stupid as it sounds, create a lovely little hubbub, a lovely little community vibe. We're right here in the middle of the city. It's a little bit unexpected. So much of what goes on in this area of town is all tourists, uh, especially on a Saturday. Just people here to take a photo and move on. So it's lovely to be here and see people actually linger for a little bit. Just putting the table tennis tables there. 
Um, surprisingly, nobody seems to nick the stuff and just run off with it. But there's always people playing. There's always people having a go. At Christmas time, out here they have a big Christmas market. Loads of different uh, food sellers and you know Christmas knickknack selling folks. It's just a great little place. It's a proper little community centre. But in the middle of this very, very transient community, most of these people don't live anywhere near here. Most of these people don't even live in our country. What a great spot to people watch over lunch. Tell you, can you see the sights and sounds of the city up here? Just about to go past City Thameslink Station. I remember last year, at this time of year, going to my course and walking past a load of furries in the street. If you don't know what a furry is, it's people that like to dress up in animal costumes and parade around as animals. And they're here again today. What is it about City Thameslink Station that attracts furries? Enough fun and games. Time to get back to work again. Just killing some time at Gatwick while I'm waiting for my train. Sometimes I like to change trains at Gatwick rather than other places because if you get a longer layover time, it's better to be stuck at Gatwick than anywhere else, isn't it? I mean, you don't want to be on a cold, windy platform when you can be in an airport lounge. my takeaway from today from what we've studied in class and also what I've done is my reading before the day it's gonna be connectedness my connectedness with a bigger story my connectedness with people that I've never seen or met one of the things we were looking at in the church history sense was of course our connectedness with the people that have gone before us and won things for us. People who sacrificed for us, people who went before us, for us. That's what's really hit me today and the number of those people that there have been who I'm indebted to, who I'll never know or I'll never meet, um, short of heaven anyway. It's been a day of placing my story in a bigger story, my own particular chapter or page or sentence in this massive book. It's humbling, but it's inspiring and it's encouraging to know that you're part of this bigger hey, thing. Next stop sure is going to be Horsham, our final destination on this server. I'm done for my travelling for the day. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I make these videos every Thursday on YouTube and every Saturday on Facebook. If you have been, thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you want to, or leave me a question or a comment. Um, hopefully I'll see you next week. All the best. Bye.